Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be doing a Numeron deck profile. So I'm really excited for you guys, because this was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Dean. And this deck is an extremely powerful deck that can summon out the most powerful monster in the entire game in terms of attack points, which is our number IC 1000, Numeronius Numeronia, which can come out at 100,000 attack points, which is absolutely crazy, and it's the first ever rank 13 printed in the entire game so without further ado guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on there so you can come part of notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name searching every single video getting assigned cards in the mail and even getting your request to deck profile every single month you're a patron along with test hands and definitely give dean some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such a crazy powerful deck so let's get straight on into this one guys so first off we're gonna be playing three copies of numeron wall numeron wall is a great card in this deck because it has the ability that's going to let you get to your field spell as quickly as possible because it has the ability that if you control no cards except a numeron wall then you can tribute this card you can quick effect send this card from your hand or field to the grave to activate a numeron network directly from your hand or deck and you can only use the effect of this card once per turn and when you take battle damage you can special summon this card from your hand and if you do end the battle phase after the damage calculation which is a great effect just to be able to summon this card to your side of the field and be able to give yourself a little bit of protection in this particular deck and get to your most powerful card which is our field spell we then play three copies of planet pathfinder this card is another card that's going to let us get to our field spell extremely quickly it lets us tribute this card to add a field spell from our deck to our hand which is going to be our copies of our numeron network which is literally what the entire deck revolves around we then play three copies of summoner monk because we're going to be using the summoner monk to summon out a card to our side of the field so we can go ahead and pop the copy of c1 to be able to use our copy of our numeron network to send our chaos numeron ritual from our deck to the graveyard so we can summon out our copy of numeronia to our side of the field so we can then eventually get out our copy of ic 1000 numeronius numeronia now the card that you're going to be summoning out off the effect of our summoner monk is going to be a old school card exiled force now this card has a very simple effect and is a super old school card and has the ability that you get to tribute this card destroy a monster on the field now the actual effect that we're going to be using this for is to pop the copy of the uh c1 sonia gate number one which is really really important for this deck to be able to pop that card so then you can use the copy of the chaos ritual to go into our copy of number 1000 numeronius we then play a three copies of Archfiend Eccentric. Archfiend Eccentric is in here because it has the ability. It has two, it has really two great effects that you can target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it if it's in the pendulum zone, or you can tribute this card and then target a monster on the field and destroy it, which is really, really good because this card can either pop the Numeron network if you need to, or pop an opponent's card, or it can go ahead and get rid of the copy of the Gate Sonya to be able to then go in for the copy of Numeron we then play three copies of lava golem as well lava golem is here just in case we want to otk the opponent you can tribute two of their monsters to summon this card to your side of the field but you can't normal summon the turn that you actually summon this card and it will inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent during each of their standby phases this card is an extremely powerful card in this deck because you can out two cards that your opponent controls and it's just a really really good card we then play a single copy of elemental hero neos and a single copy of rainbow dark dragon now you're playing these in the deck because you're actually taking in this deck three copies of neos fusion to be able to go into a copy of rainbow neos to board wipe your opponent so you can go in for the otk with your copy of numeronius in this particular build so this card is these two are really really powerful to be able to go in for your neos fusion so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Upstart Goblin because Upstart Goblin makes it a 39 card deck, which is super powerful. A single copy of Reinforcements of the Army just to make sure that we're going to get to that copy of Exile Force as quickly as possible. One copy of Terraforming because we're going to be trying to get to our copies of our Numeron Network as fast as we can. One copy of Card Destruction because sometimes we just don't need the hand that we have. And if you have a copy of Numeron Network in the hand, you do need it in the graveyard to be able to use your copy of your chaos ritual so card destruction helps you out to be able to dig into the deck for the exact cards that you need we then play three copies of a numeron network this card is what the entire deck revolves around this card is so powerful and such a good card it has the ability that during your main phase one 
You send any Numeron normal spell card that meets its activation condition from your deck to the graveyard, and this effect becomes that spell's effect when this card is activated. And you can only use the effect of this card once per turn, and Numeron XZ monsters that you control can activate their effects without detaching materials, which is an extremely powerful effect just to be able to activate any of your Numeron monsters' effects without detaching materials. We then play three copies of Numeron Calling. This card is the card that you're going to be using first in the deck to be able to send to the graveyard because it has the ability that if you control Numeron Network in your field spell zone and you control no other monsters, then you can special summon up to four Numeron Gate XZ monsters with different names from your extra deck but banish them during the end phase. Also, you can only normal summon or special summon once for the rest of the turn, which can be a bunch of different monsters from the extra deck that we'll get into in just a little bit. We then play a single copy of the Numeron Chaos Ritual. This card is a card that you're going to be using Using to go in your copy of your Numeronius because it has the ability that if a face up number C1 Numeron Chaos Gate Sonya you control is destroyed by a monster effect which is our exiled force or our arch phoenix centric then you have the ability that you can target one of your Numeron networks and four of your number monsters that are banished or in the graveyard and special summon a number C1000 Numeronius from your extract that becomes and its attack becomes 10,000 and its defense becomes a thousand and if you do attach all five of those monsters and that one spell to this card which is an extremely powerful effect you can attach all five of those cards numeron network and then you're going to attach gate one through four to that card as a material which is really really good to be able to get that really powerful 10,000 attack point monster on your side of the field we then play three copies of a memory of hope this card is basically a draw four because it has the ability that you get to draw a card for every number xz monster that you control is an extremely powerful card because once you activate numeron network you send numeron calling you summon gate one through four you activate memories of hope and then you get to draw four cards which is really good to dig into the deck to grab cards like arch phoenix centric and your copies of summoner monk extra copies of your numeron network and even exiled force from the deck so you can go in for additional plays and what's really good is if you draw memories of hope and card destruction in the same hand because then you can draw multiple cards off of memories of hope and if you didn't draw what you need you can then use card destruction to get what you need we then play three copies of neos fusion as well neos fusion is here because you're going to be summoning out rainbow neos with this card it's an extremely powerful card that you can activate at the end of your combo and it has the ability to special summon out one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists exactly two monsters and material including an elemental hero neos by sending those monsters from your hand deck or field ignoring its summoning additions and for the rest of the turn after the scar resolves you can't special summon monsters, which is not the big of a deal because you're not going to be special summoning after this card's activated anyways. And if a fusion monster that you control that lists elements of your Neos as a material is going to be destroyed by battle by card effect, you can, or shuffled into the extra deck by its own effect, you can manage this card from the graveyard instead, which gives your copy of your Rainbow Neos just that little bit of added protection that it needs. We then play three copies of Dark Ruler No More. Dark Ruler No More, More is here because you want to be able to use this card to be able to negate all the monsters on your opponent's side of the field's effects so then we can go in for all our crazy plays with this build so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck we're going to be playing a single copy of number ic 1000 numeronius numeronia this card is an insanely powerful win condition that can go come out with a hundred thousand attack points that is insane and literally the most powerful monster in the entire game right now this card has the ability that it takes five level 13 monsters which is not even possible because we don't have a level 13 monsters but it can be summoned off the effect of numeronius's effect and it has the ability that if this card is special summoned by the effect of a number c or number uh c1000 numeronius it gains a hundred thousand attack points during your opponent's turn only and you can apply the following effects from this card uh, during the next turn after this card was special summon. You get to add the ability that monsters your opponent control uh, have to attack this card. And then it has the ability to, in the, at the end of your opponent's turn, if this card did not battle, 
you automatically win the duel. That is an insanely powerful effect that your opponent has to attack this 100,000 attack point monster or they lose. This card is an insanely powerful card and I love it in this deck. When your opponent's monster that declares an attack on this card, you can detach a material to negate the attack and if you do, you gain life once equal to the monster that's attacking this card. So even if they make something that's larger than 100,000 attack points, you can just stop the attack once, which is pretty good. We then play a single copy of number C1000, Numeronius. This card is the card that you're going to be using to go into that card all the time because it has the ability that once per turn, quick effect, you can detach a material from this card to destroy one other monster on the field. And at the end of the battle phase, destroy as many other monsters on the field as possible. Minimum one. And if you do, then special summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard to your field in defense position. And if you control, or if this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect while it has uh, materials and is sent to your graveyard, then you can special summon out your number IC 1000 Numeronius Numeronia from your extra deck. And if you do attach this card as a material, that is an extremely powerful effect that if they do out this card, you can just summon out your copy of your IC 1000. We then play a single copy of C1 Numeronia, or your copy of Numeron Chaos Gate Sonia. This card is a card that you're going to be popping with your copies of your Exiled Force or your copy of Arch Phoenix Centric, but it does banish all the monsters on the field when it's summoned and it's a really good card because when it summons itself back during the next standby phase your opponent will actually lose damage equal to the amount of xyz monsters currently banished which is usually going to be 3000 we then play two copies of number one two copies of number two two copies of number three and two copies of number four. Now, the reason I laid all these cards out like this is because all of these gates do the exact same thing. You don't have to keep up with all of their different effects because they do the exact same thing, which is they cannot be destroyed by battle. And at the end of the damage step, if this card battled an opponent's monster, you can detach a material from this card and double the attack of all Numeron monsters that you currently control until the end of the turn. Now, the really interesting thing about this is, is it will actually double all the way up to 8,000, going 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, all the way up to 8,000. So sometimes you can just OTK your opponent just off the gates, which is really, really cool. We then play a single copy of Rainbow Neos because it's a great tech card in this deck to be able to summon to your side of the field because it has the ability. You can send a monster that you control to the graveyard to shuffle all monsters your opponent controls into the deck. Send a spell or trap card you control to the graveyard to shuffle all spells and trap cards your opponent controls into the deck. Or send a monster from the top of your deck to the graveyard to shuffle all cards your opponent's graveyard into the deck which is a really powerful effect, especially on a 4,500 attack point monster. We then play the same copy of the Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. This card is basically here because you can use all four of the gates and the opponent's monster to summon this card to your field, and it totally makes it so your opponent has a field that they will not be able to use anything because it cold waves the field. We play the same copy of Mega Clops. Mega Clops is really good because you can summon this card to your side of the field by using three Xyz monsters to summon this card, which is three of your gates, and it's extremely powerful for your opponent to out because an extremely hard because they have to destroy this card with a monster that's not in a uh or anything that but an xz card it has to be destroyed by an xz card which is really really hard because your opponent might not have a monster that has 4,000 attack points that they can get through this the ability to a copy of appaloosa as well appaloosa is here because you can use all four of the gates to summon this card and give you four monster negates which is pretty good so that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. It's a really fun deck to play with, especially being able to summon out both of these extremely powerful monsters to your side of the field. I love the way this deck plays. Basically being an OTK build that even if you don't summon out your copy of IC 1000, you can still OTK your opponent. But as the game goes on, you might actually summon out this card to your side of the field and be able to OTK. And it's extremely consistent to be able to summon out the copy of C 1000. And then it's a little bit dependent on the opponent, what they're doing to be able to summon out the copy of Numeronius Numeronia. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.